Hello, my friends. Today I would like to tell you something about trees. A big part of our decors are wood decors with stripes, flowery decors, decors with or without knots, decors with light and dark areas. What exactly can we see? A wood decor is a two-dimensional picture, but a tree is a three-dimensional natural product. This is a tree. I know it's a broccoli, but it looks like a tree. It has a trunk and a crown and branches and twigs. Basically, the tree needs carbon, water and minerals, but especially sunshine. Most trees live in the type of community a forest. Welcome to Broccoli Forest. Actually, there are trees which live on the boundary of a forest and others live inside the forest. As a tree needs sunlight, it grows in the direction where it gets the most sunlight so as high as possible. If a tree in the middle of a forest is cut down, the trunk has a few branches, whereas a tree from the boundary of a forest has more branches on one side. Then, of course, a tree which stands alone has enough light and space to grow in all directions. It has the most branches. Our decor Viking Oak is a prime example. Take a look at this tree slice. A tree consists of five areas. The bark on the outside, it protects the tree from environmental impacts. Behind that, the inner bark, which supplies the tree with nutrients. It dis off quite fast and changes to cork and then to bark. We all know bottle corks, which are made from this bark layer. It is quite special that this layer is so thick. This so-called coke cork grows in areas where the risk of forest fires is very high. In general, the thick cork layer is a real survival strategy. The cambium is a thin cell layer which is actually the growing living part of the tree. The sapwood is the water supply system of a tree and nourishes the tree crown. Every year a new sapwood ring grows, fast in springtime and very slow in winter. This is for our climate zone, the North European. Later on, the sap wood becomes core wood, the carrying satical element of the tree. This area is mainly used by us. It shows color differences between the core and the sap wood. It's often much lighter and softer. A branch or a knot in a wooden board is similar to this leak. It looks different depending on the angle from which it is cut and the position of the branch. If it's round, it was cut at a 90 degree angle and it looks like this. If it is oval, it was cut from a slanting position. Now let's look at a real oak trunk section. 
On the outside we can see the satin wood. As it is softer and often invested with vernon, it is normally cut away. The sideboards also show a big flower. On the middle board you can see that the stripes get bigger. The flowers smaller and the core boards has a lot of stripes, less flowers. That's all about trees. Aren't they fascinating systems? All this information and much more is what is behind our decors. Wonderful! Take care of nature and yourself. Bye!